In this video, I'm going to go over how I use the Apple ecosystem to stay productive as a student. Um, and this is coming from one of the, your guys' comments saying that I'd love an updated video showing how my setup is with my iPad, my MacBook, and my iPhone to stay productive every day. So the real main device that I use on a daily basis is my MacBook, right? This is like the main device that I use on a daily basis to stay productive. And my whole process revolves around it. I code on it. I make videos on with this channel here. I write a lot of my reports and a lot of my essays and stuff like that for university. And more and more, my iPad's becoming more redundant. There's a new update that came out that reproduced a lot of the multitasking features and it's trying to make the iPad more of a computer than a tablet. Than a tablet. And for me, it just irritated me. And every day I normally just bring my MacBook anyway and I use my iPad for like annotation, my lecture slides when I'm at uni sometimes and reading books. But I majority, majority, majority study just my MacBook open and just like a plain piece of paper and just scribbling notes whilst reviewing my Anki flashcards. Um, for me, paper is much more important when I, than I could take a photo of my phone um, and so on when I'm using the Apple ecosystem. Saying that though, the iPad is amazing for when you want to learn like an instrument and use it to learn piano. And I use this app called Tabs for guitar, which is really good. And also you can like use the books app for like textbooks. Like I'm using this one to learn Python and machine learning and Anki that syncs over and OneNote obviously for lecture slides. So I use it mainly to reference to I don't know where my AirPods have gone, but AirPods, I've got the new AirPods 3, they're really good. The new AirPods 3 Pros, they're really cool. They're very efficient. I use AirPods all the time. My Apple Watch, I track my running my workouts. I really like the um, mindfulness thing. You can get it to like set you to help you breathe throughout the day. And I just like how it gamifies working out by just trying to close the rings every day. And that's just kind of like a measurable goal that I try and achieve every day. And also my phone, <laughs> I use majority to make these videos, but I've just pulled out my old Canon camera that I haven't used for ages to make this video. Um, with my MacBook, I can show like a setup on my screen here. I mainly use literally Apple Notes. I don't like using Notion because it makes me more um, distracted than it actually helps anything. And the majority of the time, I'm not making like a big organization or anything. And for me, for organizing my time and my tasks and a lot of my knowledge, I like to um, just use paper because it's much more simple and it helps me focus better. Um, as you can see behind me here, I have a lot of books throughout the day and um, with the Apple ecosystem, I think Apple Books is really good as well. And for me, um, like the Apple ecosystem just simplifies things and helps me not get as stressed. Um, for everyday focus, with my iPad and my phone, I use an application called Burnout Buddy. Um, it's really good. You can just get it to block uh, certain applications and things. On the MacBook, I love especially how on Safari, you can use this hide certain parts of the UI of certain applications and that's like really good because you can like hide parts of YouTube, for example, that you don't want to watch. On Mac, I use an application called Focus for YouTube. That's really good. I use for Safari mainly because it syncs across my phone and everything. Focus for YouTube, I think that's one for Chrome as well. And that's really useful on a daily basis for me to stay productive so I'm not getting down YouTube rabbit holes. And on the Mac as well, I try and use like screen time passwords just on the, if you go into the Apple and you go into your settings and screen time, you can add like limits for certain applications. And I just add like a, it's just a deterrent so that I'm aware when I've spent more than like I don't know, 10 minutes on YouTube, for example, or 10 minutes on an application. On my phone, I literally have no um, apps, like no social media apps, because I don't use social media. I have WhatsApp for messaging with my university group chats, which is really useful. And the main app of mine that has like massively impacted me with the Apple ecosystem is having a phone and a um, 
some AirPods that you can use on a daily basis to, I don't know, like listen to books when I'm running, listening to books when I'm walking to uni. It's just like a great way to fill in the time. And for me, if you can try and replace um, watching YouTube, going on social media with listening to an audio book. So for example, I'm listening to How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's a great book. Um, another one is Life on Earth by David Attenborough. I just love his voice. I can listen to him on a daily basis. And um, yeah, I just really love Audible. And that's a really important way that I use the Apple ecosystem on a daily basis to stay productive. Um, the application I like to use to annotate my lectures on the go is called OneNote. I've been using that for ages and I really like how it syncs across my iPad and my MacBook. Um, on top of that, I use Anki that syncs across my phone, my MacBook and my, my iPad. And I really like Anki on the iPad to um, review Anki. But as I said, when I've, I'm going out to uni and bringing one device, I'm normally bringing my MacBook because I like to code on VS Code and learn coding. And I've got a lot of my projects and stuff at the moment. And it just helps me um, just focus on one device and then have paper to just really jot down and start doing my tutorial questions. Um, and yeah, that's the main ways I use my Apple ecosystem to stay productive throughout the day. Um, that's like a really good way for me to stay productive. I obviously use ChatGPT and I use like Google, like calendar and sharing calendars like with my girlfriend so that we're staying relatively productive throughout the day. Um, and yeah, that's the way I've been using the Apple ecosystem. Um, iPhone's really good. If you want to make a YouTube channel, <laughs> you can just use that to get started. Like right now I'm using it as a voice memos. So <laughs> you can actually hear my voice better. And yeah. Um, that's how I'm using the Apple ecosystem to stay a bit more productive. Um, I love a MacBook. I know a lot of people ask me like in the comments, why don't you use a like monitor or anything or like a mouse or keyboard or stuff. I just like a MacBook because I can just chuck it in my bag. The I'm actually much quicker when it comes to studying stuff with just using a trackpad and the keyboard that's built into it. And I like being able to study from anywhere, like right now I'm on a couch, I've got my MacBook here, I can just get studying and just get it going. <laughs> um, and it's just very efficient for me. And I like to feel more portable and minimalistic and not have to have too much stuff. Um, but the iPad is also really good. The, how I use that as an engineering student, I've made lots of videos on the channel, but I really like Freeform for when I'm trying to create a design. So like this year I'm making a, uh, I've got a design module where I'm like having to create, I, we've picked as a group to create a motorized wheelchair, um, walking frame. I mean, like a rollator, you know, the ones that the old people hold. And that's like, I created that on the iPad and drew it all up. And that's like really good for like rough sketches, but I still like a big whiteboard or a big, just blank piece of paper to just jot down ideas and, really think deeply about a task and yeah i don't think for me i went down the rabbit hole of trying to look at like e-ink tablets and all these other cool like productivity hacks and stuff but um unfortunately like that none of that really makes you much more productive what things that make you productive is actually practicing and deliberate effort and for me that's what humbles me on a daily basis is that all i need is my macbook and a piece of paper and open up my macbook either OneNote or Anki or just like a little book and then use ChatGPT to study study it and just to make sure that I'm practicing. A bit like going to the gym, as I've just made my previous video about um, train your focus like a muscle, you know, you don't get strong without putting the reps in. And for me, having a simplified setup around the ecosystem of Apple really helps me stay productive. So um, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and thank you for watching.